Everyone agrees that 2010 was the year it got interesting. Starting off the year was an announcement and an appointment that shook the industry and established a legend. 2010 was a year that Shane Moran and Bernie Tua tapped none other than Mr. Holton Bugs to be your Vice President of Sales. And things started to happen quickly. The next big announcement came with an amazing product. Organo Gold's King of Coffee was released, setting the bar for unsurpassed Ganoderma purity and taste. It was a pure line of coffee. Everybody got a chance to taste the coffee at that event, and everybody just was electrified from the taste of the King of Coffee. And we came up with a promo that particular weekend, Mr. Bugs, Mr. Moran, Mr. Chua, and it really created a lot of synergy from that one event, and that is when the company really lifted off. 2010 also brought a milestone in social media with the launch of the official Organo Gold Facebook page. Then, in April 2010, the historic opening of Organo Gold University in the Swank Houston Galleria. And by June that year, Organo Gold officially went over 30,000 distributors worldwide. But it was in September of that year that ignited the company. The location, Atlanta, Georgia. The event, the first ever Project 50,000, an event unlike any other ever produced at Organo Gold. My very first event uh, was the event in Atlanta. I come with my first sponsored person, George Duller. We um, come to Atlanta and we go in and see uh, exciting people, a group, uh, not a group, an <laughs> army of uh, very exciting people. The edification of the diamonds was amazing. That was the very first event where the Organo Gold gave the swords to the diamonds. And we were only 10 diamonds, and I was one of them. It was an amazing event. I saw all the people getting sworded and knighted and, uh, and having so much fun. I can remember wondering, are those swords really real? And when I got on stage, after they called all the leaders on the stage, because at that time, all the sapphires and above were allowed on stage together. And I can remember asking Emmanuel Bernstein, uh, one of my heroes in the company we call Super E, if I could just hold his sword. Uh, first of all, I wanted to know if it was real. And second of all, I knew my time was coming and I wanted that experience immediately. So many milestones, so many important events in our history. By the end of 2010, OG had opened Mexico, Austria, Germany, and the Netherlands. Crowds were getting larger, awards were getting bigger, and the world was beginning to take notice. But little did they know what was about to happen in 2011.